Good morning children I hope you all are well and safe at home Here I am showing you the video on chapter 1 computer system What is a computer? A computer can be defined as an electronic device that can accept, store and process data to produce the required result according to user directions. Computer works on the basis of the input, process and output cycle. Input takes data and instructions which we feed into it using input devices. Process stores and processes the data using the CPU. Output gives the result using output devices computer system a computer has a monitor a mouse a keyboard and a case that contains other important parts these physical components are called hardware these are the parts of the computer system that we can actually see and touch instructions which are given to hardware are called software or programs these hardware and software together make a computer system computer system hardware and software central processing unit it basically looks like this normally in a computer is tower based basically it's if if cpu is just like a brain of a computer it controls all the function of a computer you can say like a brain who uh, behave in a man to control all the function so similarly CPU is basically a brain of a computer. Uh, CPU has basically uh, three main units. First one is called as arithmetic and logic unit (ALU). Second is called control unit, and third one is called register. So one by one we will look into this arithmetic and logic unit. What is what it is basically? the alu does all the uh, functions related to calculations and logical uh, comparisons for example any type of calculations which based on arithmetic for example plus minus divide multiply whatever it is arithmetic calculation it basically done by uh, the alu also there are many types of comparisons or logical comparisons needed to do the functionality for example less than equal to greater than gre less than equal to greater than equal to not equal to so there are many uh, logical comparisons also needed to be done by alu so uh, alu arithmetic and logic unit basically it is responsible to do all the uh, arithmetic calculation like plus minus divide etc and also it is responsible to do all the logical comparisons like less than equal to greater than equal to or less than equal to etc so all the these types of logical comparison should also be done by the alu now coming to the next point uh, it is control unit what is basically a control unit um uh, a control unit just imagine this picture if you can see lot lots of traffic jam here like uh, traffic is jam and no one can go anywhere so uh, there should be some policeman or some traffic police should also be there to handle the uh, to handle the traffic like or traffic signal should be there to divert the traffic on the right track this is very necessary if there is any uh, if there is no traffic police person on the road so no traffic will go on the right direction and it it will be jam like this so in the cpu or in the computer control unit is basically 
controls the movement of information between the register, ALU and other parts of information. So you can say the control unit is basically responsible to handle the movement of information among the different units of computer like register, ALU and other parts of the computer. Okay, now the last uh, section of CPU is basically the register. What is basically a register? Register is basically a small unit of memory which if you open just a CPU you can see these sorts of units. This is called a register which is basically responsible to hold a small memory unit in the CPU where all the data to be processed is stored. It helps the ALU to access data easily for calculations and helps the CU control unit to pass the data on other parts of computer rapidly. Basically guys this is a very small uh, unit of memory which holds the data which needs to be processed by the CPU. It just holds the data and it is accessible by uh, ALU and helps CU as well to pass the data to other, pa to other parts of computer rapidly. So this is the register look like this. It is very small part of memory to hold the data to be processed. Characteristics of a computer A computer is an electronic machine. It has following characteristics. Speed Computer works at great speeds. It can do billions of calculations in a few seconds. Memory Computers can store a large amount of data safely in its memory for future use. That is why they are so useful. Accuracy Computer is a very accurate machine. Diligence Computers can do the same job again and again without getting tired or bored. Versatility Computers can perform different types of jobs. Multitasking The computers can do many different jobs at the same time. Limitations of computers Computers are machines. They have to be given instructions for each step of operation. Unlike humans, they cannot think on their own or take decisions. If they receive wrong instructions, they will give wrong output. Unlike humans, computers are not creative. They simply follow instructions. Types of computers on the basis of application so uh, your first one is on the basis of application basically there are three types first is analog computer second digital computer and the third one is hybrid computer so first one we will going to discuss that is analog computers what is that analog computers are computers that measures physical quantities physical quantities means what length height okay temperature etc and uh, converting them okay uh, means uh, it uh, measures basically physical quantities length height temperature and then uh, it converting them into a digit okay uh, in a number analog computers are mostly used in the field of engineering science okay in the field of engineering and science we are uh, using that type of computer and uh, uh, if uh, we want to simple example of analog computer or analog function we can take as a car speedometer as you can see uh, in this picture car speedometer what is that basically a uh, speedometer of a car measures speed of a car okay 20 40 50 what is that that is uh, uh, you can say it's uh, measures speed speed of a car okay and uh, the position of a needle relative to a dial represents the speed of the car in kilometers okay 20 kilometers 40 kilometers uh, means what 20 kilometers is speed of a car so that relative uh, needle you can say the position of a relative needle to a dial represent the speed of the car in kilometers as you can see in this picture and uh, 
uh, if we take the examples of that uh, for example uh, weight machine measured weight means uh, weight is measured by weight machine okay there is a physical quantity uh, similarly temperature of the body is measured by thermometer okay it is also a temperature is also a physical quantity which, uh, which is we can measure by a thermometer similarly weight uh, can be measured by a, a weight machine and uh, uh, it converting them into a digits okay means uh, thermometer can we can say uh, thermometer 20 30 results uh, results are displays in in digital forms okay uh, and uh, then we have a next that is on the basis of application second one is your digital computers digital computers when we talk about digital computers uh, digital computers work on discrete digits or numbers okay or figures etc digital computers perform logic and arithmetical operations and uh, digital computer process information in digital uh, form mean 0 and 1 we can say binary digit 0 and 1 is what binary uh, digit so digital computer process information in digital form 0 and 1 and all the information whether uh, alphabetic numeric uh, numeric is being converted into a binary digit and then processed in terms of 0 and 1 only so that is the uh, your digital computer if we can uh, if we take the example uh, example of digital computer is ibm's pc okay ibm personal computers and macbook as we can see in this picture that is uh, your macbook okay macbook picture and uh, uh, okay uh, one different between analog and digital computer is that it it is very important difference we have to consider it uh first uh, is that analog computer work on continuous value okay analog computers basically work on continuous values but when we talk about the digital computers digital computers work on discrete values so that is very important difference between analog computer and digital computer that analog computer works on continuous value and whether digital computers work uh, works on discrete value okay uh, so digital computer are used for what used in engineering and research field okay and educational businesses so these are the uh, field where we are using digital computer basically business if we take example of uh, education engineering research so they are the field where we used digital computers okay then next one is our third and last that is your uh, uh, hybrid computers okay so what is hybrid computer hybrid computers are ba uh, are basically nothing but a combination of both analog and digital computers means uh, analog and digital computer is what their combination is called hybrid computers okay uh, hybrid computers has the feature of both computers that is analog computer and digital computer because uh, uh, it is a combination of analog and digital computers that's uh, that's why we can say that they have a uh, feature of both computers okay hybrid computers are used for specialized uh, applications okay they are uh, they have the advantage of a memory where program instructions can be stored and executed okay so they have an advantage of what memory where they can uh, where programs instructions can be stored and also executed we are using uh, hybrid computers in scientific applications okay and um, we can say scientific calculations uh, so they are the field where we are using hybrid computer scientific applications and sci uh, such as scientific calculator calculations where we are using hybrid computers some other example of hybrid computers we can uh, uh, 
take as you can say computers used in hospitals to measure the heartbeat of the patient as you see in this picture this is a basically a, a heartbeat machine okay used in a hospital to measure the heartbeat of the patient so we can take uh, this as example of hybrid computer so these are the three types of computers on the basis of applications and along computer okay uh, digital computer and hybrid computer so uh, analog computer basically uh, we can say that analog computers are we are using in uh, your um, engineering field okay and uh, basic example we take as car speedometer okay and analog computers are basically uh, their values uh, means work on uh, analog computer works on continuous values okay where uh, uh, second one is your digital computer digital computer basically what your example macbook ibm pc uh, and we are using it in uh, research field also in engineering education business okay so and uh, uh, digital computers are works on discrete value when we talk about the uh, hybrid computers hybrid computers are combination of both okay and example of that uh, heartbeat machine which uh, are using uh, using in hospitals soon i'll be coming with the next video thank you